What's up everyone and welcome to part 7 in the video series about how to get good at using Procreate. In this video we're going to be talking about the tool that allows you to manipulate selections and layer contents. I'm talking about the transform tool. Let's check it out. All right, let's dive right into it. So we tap with four fingers to reveal the interface. And now we're gonna be working with the transform tool, which is this icon right here. So we tap on that and now it says layer empty. Now it's saying that because we don't have anything on this layer right now, because the transform tool, it selects the contents of the layer, not the layer itself. So if we draw something on the layer, something like a square like this, and then click on the transform tool, then you see it's going to select the contents of the layer. So we can move it around just freely like this. We can just drag it around. We can even tap outside of the selection boundaries like so. And it's always going to select what's inside here. Now we have two options here. We have freeform and magnetic. Now freeform allows us to move it around just freely. And if we tap on magnetic, it's going to stick to certain anchor points. So right now it's sticking to the horizontal. But if we move it just a little bit away from the horizontal line, it's going to allow us to move it more or less freely until we meet the anchor point again, then it's going to stick to it. So this is the horizontal line, so we can stick it to the horizontal direction. We can also move it in a diagonal way like this. And then there's one snap point also here between the diagonal and the horizontal. And then there's also one between the diagonal and the vertical. So this can be very helpful if you're making duplicate layers and you want to keep them in line with each other, or maybe you are making a user interface, you have a couple of buttons and you want to have them aligned. This can be very helpful in those kinds of situations. Now the next thing that I want to draw your attention to is the anchor points at the edges of the selection boundaries. Now what these allow you to do is manipulate the selection in various ways. So with the free form selected, this one right here, if we tap on the corner like so, it's going to scale the layer while having one anchor point fixed, this one right here. So this is going to stay fixed. If we tap on the edge in the same way, it's going to have one edge fixed and the other one is going to move, in this case, the horizontal one. Now the next tip is to tap and hold on the anchor point. And what that's going to allow you to do is to move each anchor point individually. And that creates this cool looking perspective effect, which makes it look like it it's going into the distance or being stretched in various ways. And you can use this in pretty much any scenario. Um, if you need to make something look just a bit different, take this edge, tap and hold, and then move it freely. And the other edges will stay in place, but you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Pretty cool. Now you can also rotate the selection and that's done pretty much just by rotating your fingers. You pinch and then rotate the shape and you can Make it go into any rotational degree. Now, if we tap on magnetic, this one right here, then it's gonna stick to the same anchor points as we discussed earlier. Now, the final thing, if you wanna scale this selection and maintain the aspect ratio, what you do is you tap on magnetic and then you scale it. And that's gonna retain the aspect ratio so it's not gonna stretch the image. So now we've gone through the freeform and the magnetic and what you can do with these controls over here, the anchor points. And the next thing I want to talk about is these controls over here. So let's go quickly through them right now. So the first one is flip horizontal. So that's basically where you take the image and you're flipping it on the horizontal axis. So we tap on that and it flips it horizontally. Pretty straightforward. The other one is flip vertical. So that's going to flip it upside down. The next one is rotate 45 degrees. And the next one is resize to full screen. And what you do there is you're resizing the selection and make it go full screen. And if we have the free form selected, what it's gonna do is gonna fit the selection within the canvas boundaries. It's not gonna clip anything away. It's just gonna make it fit within the boundaries. You see the edges over here, it all fits within the canvas boundaries. So that's very handy. Now, if you tap on magnetic and do the same thing, what it's going to do is going to fill the entire canvas with as much of the layer selection as possible. So 
As you can see, we've lost some information on the top and the bottom there because Procreate is trying to do its best to fill in the entire canvas with the selection that you had selected. And now, if you're unhappy with what you just did, you can always go back and clear any changes that you made by using this one right here. You can also undo or redo, respectively, with these two. All right, so for the final tip here, um, let's say that you're working with this square right here and let's move it into place like so and zoom into it like so. Okay, so let's say that you have the transform tool selected and you want to see the top edge of the square, the selection. Now, how can you do that? We're in the transform tool. So if we want to zoom out, what's going to happen is we're just going to scale it because we have the transform tool selected. So how can we zoom out while having the transform tool selected? Well, we could deselect it, then select it again, but that's a hassle. We don't want to do that. We want to be in the tool that we're working with. So in Progrid, what you do is you tap and hold on the transform tool icon, and that allows us to zoom in and out. We tap and hold, and then we do the zooming, release, and then we can do the modification, tap and hold, zoom out, release, do some modifications, and there we go. That's how we do that. It's pretty awesome. And that's gonna do it for this video. I wanna thank you all very much for watching. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it, if it helped you out, it really helps me out. If you wanna check out the next video where I'm gonna be talking about the selection tool, click on this one, click on here to see another video for mine, click here to subscribe. I wanna thank you all very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye bye.